another successful breeding, this time with the Melanosophila, the black-headed Bushmaster, one of the rarest venom snakes in the world. Wow. Oh, oh, oh boy. Subscribe now. Hey y'all, Willie at the Serpent Center here. Um, today we have a sacred event that's happened and we're gonna pull some Bushmaster eggs for y'all today. This was kind of a little bit of a sketchy situation because we've got a pair in here. Now these are the Melanosophila. These are the black-headed Bushmasters. I believe one of our last videos we did uh, Stenophrys, the, the Central American Bushmasters. That is an eight-foot Lachesa Stenophrys wrapped around a big clutch of beautiful pearly white eggs. These are the blackheads, and the blackheads are a little bit more grumpy than the stenophory, so I gotta go in here and pull the big male out, and he's pretty defensive, so we gotta get him out, then we gotta move some things around so we can get to the egg box, the nest box where mama's at, curled up around these eggs, and see how she did. And hang in there because there are some things in your face coming up. <laughs> I know it's been a while. Hang in there, we're gonna play with some Bushmasters today. <laughs> well, let's get this exhibit open. And it's funny because last year we had a pair of big Sinopheries on exhibit. And they bred and laid eggs right on the exhibit. And of course, all the ones upstairs that bred and laid eggs, but, but they're all breeding and they're all doing really well. This season, we put some blackhead Bushmasters on exhibit and we got a good copulation. And now the mama just laid eggs. So we're gonna go ahead and pull the male out of there. And normally I would go ahead and take that female and put her off exhibit, let her lay eggs in her own privacy, but they're doing so well in here, I didn't want to pull her. So I kind of left the pair alone and I gave an extra hide box and the male does not go in there and disturb her. He stays away from her. He's been using his own hide box. So I just kind of let it be. But now we got to go ahead and extract his butt. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover up her hide first so she doesn't shoot out of there and try to get me while I'm pulling him out. I'm going to cover up the hide box that she's in. Just so she doesn't catch a heat signature and blaze out of here and try to get me while I'm extracting this big male. You really gotta watch this guy because he shoots out of here like a, like a rocket. And he's big, he's about seven foot, you know, so we gotta really be careful with him. I'm gonna put this can in front of me, so I got a little bit of protection from him. Hey, buddy. <laughs> this snake is spooky, let me tell you. Out of all of the Lachesis, the blackheads are by far the most temperamental. They are definitely, they don't tolerate anything there and they're not afraid of it. Most snakes are very defensive. These snakes are like, they hold their ground and they're like, come mess with me, I dare you. They're really a defensive animal that will protect themselves and they're not afraid to to hold their ground, let me tell you. See, I need to get that tail out of there. All right, buddy. I've got him in a position where he's kind of hard to maneuver. This whole root system I got in this exhibit, it makes it difficult to deal with these guys. And we want to do this safely and gently. We're trying not to upset him, but there we go. Now I can get my hand on him. All seven foot of him. Now, he's not quite as big as our other big male, that big monster, but this guy is a breeder, and that is a good seven foot melanosophila. I've got me a, a shield here. <laughs> I put me a handle on my Bushmaster cans just for this reason. We go ahead and 
close his butt up. That is one snake that you do not take lightly, let me tell you. A bite from that and your history. Even with antivenom. I mean, 92% fatality rate with the treatment. So it's a little spooky messing with these guys. But we can never have too many black kids, right? So we keep breeding them. And I'm gonna tell you, with 40 years experience under my belt, the black-headed Bushmaster, that snake is probably one of the most dangerous snakes I've ever had to interact with. It's not about what kills more people or what causes more fatalities. It's about what snake has the tools to get the job done quickly and can do it faster and is more apt to do it. They have more weapons in their arsenal and it makes it a little more dangerous to interact with that snake. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and remove some cage decor here so I can get to mama and her nest box. I peeked up in there early this morning and I seen her wrapped around a nice big clutch of eggs. So let's see what we got here. Honey, I mean, I'll grab the camera once I take a peek and see where she's at. Okay. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. oh boy. Here, babe. There's one loose egg and she is wrapped around a monster clutch of eggs in there and they all look fantastic. Look at this. All right. Oh, oh, oh. oh I bet you there's over a dozen in there. Let me see if I can get, look at how she's wrapped up around them eggs. And Bushmasters will kind of lay up there and she'll stay with them eggs. She is protecting them eggs right now. That's why I'm not gonna get too much closer. But she is wrapped around a big old clutch of big, healthy eggs. And there's one loose one right there, but that's a good egg also. I can't count them, but there's gotta be 12 eggs there, if not more. And this female is electric. She is just, she's lemon yellow and jet black. She is gorgeous. Oh, that just tickles me pink. Here you go, baby. And she's not gonna be easy to get off them eggs. She is wrapped up on them things tight. So, I'm gonna go ahead and unravel her very gently and carefully and extract them eggs. So, We'll get back with you here in a minute. <laughs> Okay, so I was able to gently pull Mama. Um, she was pistol about this one. Let me tell you, I've pulled many clutches of eggs from many Bushmasters, and usually they're pretty docile. They're kind of just, they're still in that catatonic state, even after 24 hours. I usually give them 24 hours wrapped up around them eggs, but she was a little bit grumpy. Look at that. That is a sight to behold right there. 11 big, beautiful eggs. Nice, big, plump, perfect eggs. She done such a good job. This was her first time too. Oh, that's this, this is, this is what I live for. <laughs> but anyways, we'll get these up in the incubator. And that is, that's just really makes me happy. <laughs> hey, a big shout out to Caitlin Scogan. She sponsors this, this whole Blackhead project. I mean, this is a monthly sponsorship and she helps feed these animals and take care of them. And, and Caitlin, thank you so much, dear. Success. Great success. <laughs> We're gonna put this pair back in here. And um, I've actually put their hide boxes back in there so they can get in there and just chill out. So we're gonna throw them back in gently and carefully. So first we're gonna slide our little mama back in there and let her get into her hide box and chill out because laying eggs is very strenuous on an animal. And we'll give her 24 hours. Oh, here she's rattling her tail, she, she's pissed. We'll give her 24 hours to recoup, and then we'll go ahead and get, get a feed into her. Okay, girl, chill out. Get her right to 
position here. We don't want to just lift her without supporting her. She's nowhere near the size of that male. She's a big snake. Now, let me tell you, she is, she is at least six foot, but she's not quite as big as that male. She lost a little bit of weight since laying all the eggs. Okay, girl. Gently slide her back in there. But what a beautiful Bushmaster. She is definitely one of my favorites. She is just a beautiful animal. And this snake is not easy to handle. She doesn't hook very easily. She's, she's very defensive. Right now she's a little wore out. What a lot of people don't realize is Bushmaster will only produce three, maybe four times in their entire life. We're gonna get her suited over there so I can slide that. Man, look at her throat blowing. They do that when they're pissed. They start blowing their throats. I just wanna scoot her over a little bit. Right there, there we go. So I put the male in. So she doesn't decide to pop him while I'm doing that. He's a pistol. This guy's a pistol. For some reason, our male blackheads are always <laughs> And yes, I'm afraid of this snake. There's something wrong with you if you ain't afraid of him. Because this snake has the capability of taking life. And if you don't respect that, there's definitely something wrong with you. He, he is locked on me solid, boy. There we go. Come on, big boy. <laughs> Look at that. He's periscoping, hanging off the damn bucket. <laughs> that is a very intimidating animal. <laughs> All right, buddy. Get back in there with your girl. You know the stenophries, we can we can damn near handle them, just move them around. Okay, buddy. <laughs> but the blackheads, you can't play them games with these guys. And there is the male. You can see he is locked on, ready for action. <laughs> Big old grumpy boy. And there is the female. She's already heading towards her, her hideout, her hide box. But she's done a great job. Couldn't be happier. 11 more baby blackheads on the way. And when we do our next tour, we'll pop them high boxes out of there and give this exhibit back its natural look. So, cool. Another successful breeding, this time with the melon soft look. The black-headed Bushmaster is one of the rarest venomous snakes in the world. We have several species of Bushmaster here at the Serpent Center. The melon is definitely one of the rarest of all of the venomous snakes in the world. They're so secretive. I mean, they're rarely seen in the wild. Most zoos, other institutions, they have a hard time even keeping this snake alive. And this is an important animal. You know, the, the Melanosophila, the, the black-headed Bushmaster, is probably the rarest of the bunch when it comes to the Lachesis. They are so secretive that they are very rarely seen in the wild. Don't go away yet, though. All right? Because fangs in your face is coming up. <laughs> Oh, he come a long way for that one. Back it up, baby. Kind of came with that one sideways. Big old crow lizard kind.
no you don't. <laughs> He's coming out of the cage after me. Here you go, buddy. Line it up. There you go. Hit it. <laughs> it's a, a little male play, of course. He's a ferocious little stinker. Alright, buddy, back it up over there. Set this down here. Back it, please. Typical boss ups. Alright, we're gonna see if we can get this Mujani to come over here sideways and see if we can get a shot in on it. <laughs> oh, that thing is crazy. This is a big old female we got on exhibit. And she is a knucklehead boy. Let me tell you, she usually comes flying right out of the cage at me. All right, just thought it'd be a pretty cool one. We got a copperhead. He's perched way up there on that plant, up there in the branches. Let's see if he does a straight on hit. Oh, good boy. Big old broadband copperhead. We're gonna set that right there for him. He will come down and get it. <laughs> it's my arboreal copperhead. Okay, I got this big female Arutu, big gravid female Arutu on exhibit, and we're gonna try to get a rat in there to her. And see if we can film it, but she's kind of in an awkward position. <laughs> if she comes, Let's see if we can keep her in the light. Come on, girl, hit it. Well, you got yourself stuck there, don't you? Get her back it up. Hey, oh man. Big girl, flip that. Back it up. Back it up. Back it up. Put that right there for you. All right, let's give it a shot with the rhino wipers here. Let's see if we can get a head-on bang here. They're usually pretty ferocious. Oh, very nice. Get one right over there with the other one.
All right, we got a big nine foot Lachesis Muda, the South American Bushmaster, way back up in that corner. And we're gonna try to lure him all the way out here. As soon as he picks up a heat signature here, a little bit of tap. Oh, 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 oh he did a scud missile on that one. Seems like whenever I feed the Bushmaster, they're always tucked way up in the corner. It's actually the middle of the night. I had to turn the lights on to feed this boy. He got a big exhibit. Come see this guy. He's on exhibit here at the Serpent Center. Just a quick one, guys, to share some of our success with you. Hey, if you haven't seen us here at the Serpent Center and visit us yet, Check us out, serpentcenter.com if you want to book a tour, book a training class. Hey, so it's Willie at Bennett Central Serpent Center, checking out. Later.